Okay, so I'm going to show you um, gravitational potential energy. I'm going to show you uh, why the formula is what it is and, uh, and how to use it. Okay, gravitational potential energy uh, is sometimes called GPE. Okay, um, in some of our lessons we've called it high energy. Um, that'll do for starters, but really we should use gravitational potential energy. Um, I just want to show you why the formula is what it is. Okay, uh, it's fairly straightforward, uh, so we'll just draw ourselves a little situation. Okay, just imagine somebody's uh, uh, in a corridor. They, they just want to move a box here onto the top of a filing cabinet or something like that. Okay, really you know, rubbish filing cabinet. Doesn't look very good. Okay, and they want to move that box um, so that it ends up, okay, up here. Okay, so that's the finishing place we want the box. Okay, well, um, they're going to have to do some work. They're going to have to put some work in. So that person is going to do some work on that box uh, using a force to lift it up. And the force that they're going to have to lift it up, okay, they're going to have to lift it up with a force that in that direction. And that force is going to be equal to, at least equal, uh, to the weight of the particular box. Okay, now that box, let's say it's 25 kilograms, okay, and if they are going to lift that, they're going to have to use at least as much force as the weight. Okay, so that's that's the force going up here. So how far is it going? It's fairly simple. Okay, it's going to be moving from there. Oops, excuse me. Uh, it's going to be moving from there up to there. So we need to know how high that is. Okay, that's the distance. Okay, so the distance is just the height. And pretty straightforward. Uh, if you want to work out the work done, uh, we just do this. We just force times distance. Uh, now, the force, okay, well, that's just the mass times the force of gravity and, or the strength of gravity, I should say. And on Earth, okay, uh, we have a really quite convenient size, you know, gravity, G, G. Uh, gravity has a strength of about 10 newtons per kilogram. Um, we don't normally use newtons per kilogram, it's kind of handy sometimes, not, not so in other places. Uh, in the past we've called this meters per second per second, uh, and today it doesn't really matter, we're just going to use the number 10. I suppose it's best to call it newtons per kilogram today, it doesn't really matter. But the important thing is we're on Earth and the size of gravity, g, is 10. Okay, so we have the height here, so we're going to use that there. And we're going to multiply that. Uh, that's that height. That's the force there. Okay. So what we have now is the amount of work that gets done on this object is just force times the distance, which is mass times gravity times height. Okay. And by the time we finish, we can ask ourselves a simple question about this box. Okay. How much height energy? Okay. Uh, does it have now? And, when, and that's the actual answer is, you know, we should say the GPE. The actual answer is that it's exactly got as much height energy as the energy that we gave to it. And that's this. So we can say that uh, the work done, okay, is equal to the amount of gravitational potential energy we got. Which means we can write mass times gravity times height. And this is where we get our formula for mass times gravity times height for gravitational potential energy.